Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, this first reading is for a situation ship or something that you need to hear. I panned down so you could see the table today because we're going to do a reading all about you. We're going to begin with tarot first. Let's start. What does Libra need to hear this morning or this afternoon? What are the major messages? Please and thank you. We're going to do this reading for love. It's applicable to anything. Just apply it where it fits. Again, if it's not your message, that's okay. Just leave it behind for somebody else. Someone else will appreciate it in the collective. But if, but if it is yours, I want to welcome you to take it as much as possible. Okay? It could fit in your situation. Let's get started, Libra. What do you need to hear at this time? Those got stuck. What do you need to hear at this time? For the Empress, first card fell. Let's see what it is. Queen of Cups is Cancer. She's psychic. She's intuitive. She has psychic abilities that are very strong. This is not a surface level type of Queen of Cups. She's very feeling. She has emotions that touch other people. And she's also very helpful in her own situation. We're going to keep her right here in case we have to refer to her. Next message for the situation that Libra's dealing with. Seven of Wands, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is a guarded and protected aspect or something that we guard. In this position, it's best to surrender, right? The best position here in the Seven of Wands is to surrender um, all concerns, all things that are affecting us to the Seven of Wands area. I think some of you have psychic abilities that you're touching on currently and you could be really in tune with that queen of cups is like the go-to for that right she's very very feeling sensitive you could also be touching onto your environment today who's libra thinking of in the third spot here who's libra thinking of thank you you could be thinking of an aquarius okay or you're thinking of how much hope and healing you've gone through i do think it's a journey like assessment I think there's a lot of review here that's going on, maybe even in the last few days. The star card is something that exemplifies this collective at this time. You could also alternatively be thinking of someone who is healing, okay? It's a hope and healing card. Let's see that. Can I get a second card for the star card, please? Thank you. Page of Swords. Maybe thinking of a Page of Swords or someone curious around you. I feel like alternatively, they think of you a lot. Okay, if you're Queen of Cups placement today, this Page of Swords is showing up thinking of you. And I have the deck right here, if you're wondering. So Page of Swords is linked to you in some way. The feeling or the channel that I get from the Page of Swords is honestly trying to communicate with you. I think someone wants a conversation on a deep level. Um, they feel like you have something special to you. Even though psychic abilities could be felt by other people, all right, it could be very strong with you at this time. So I want to say your Queen of Cups is a valuable place. It is not a weakness if you feel that way. She's very, very internally psychic. She feels her environment. People like that are highly intelligent. But you could be thought of as a star too. I just looked down in the Page of Swords and Star look like they could have a relationship. Okay, and we're going to keep him right here. All right, um, any advice? the sun. Create a happy moment or co-create with spirit. Vulnerability. If you feel vulnerable or you had vulnerable moments, the biggest advice here is to use it and transmute it into Leo energy. Uh, Leo is very much, it's about brightness, it's about brilliance, and also they tend to be really like they're task seekers. So I feel here filling up your time with something very valuable, okay? Not only enlightening, but I also feel valuable for the Queen of Cups. You could be transmuting that Queen of Cups sensitivity too, and I feel like into beautiful things, art projects, something at work, involving yourself more. Sometimes we have to get out of that overthinking ourselves. Let's look at the Page of Swords. What's their placement today? If this is Libra's reading, we have a Five of Wands on the sideways, which is 50%. When the five of wands shows up in 50%, it is about getting out of this place. Somebody doesn't want to be in conflict anymore. Nobody wants to be in competition. I kind of feel like that's your placement, okay? Um, you could have many suitors at this time, Libra, or somebody's like, I see that they want to get your attention. The page of swords is an evaluator. They evaluate from the distance or from a distance rather. They're very intrigued because they want to learn. The learning is here with this person. That could be you too because it's air. Okay? What's the star card? Can we discuss that hope and healing? Thank you. 
Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. A feeling of lack or we lost something. The Five of Pentacles is Earth energy. I do want to say with this lack, something could have been realized. I feel like a relationship to someone or you feel like it's lost in time. When, when the Five of Pentacles shows up, the advice is actually to question whether it is a true loss. Do you feel like it's missing in your life? Um, and this Page of Swords could alternatively be showing up as Five of Pentacles. I think a relationship here was lost for sure in today's specific reading because we want to get out of conflict, right? That 50% energy, we want to find our peace, our happiness, and our tranquility. Have you ever been in a moment, Libras, where uh, the world seemed to stop and you felt safe, secure, and abundant, even though you didn't have a lot of money or you didn't feel like that day was banning out, but you felt like something was just whole in your heart. And I think the Queen of Cups has arrived there by review, okay? And I'm very careful to say that, by review. The couple next cards, please. Can we have what's coming up in her future? Thank you. One wants to flip <laughs> the Fool card. Let's talk about how this is felt in the 3D, okay? 3D actions, it's Aries, first of all. You don't have to have Aries placements, but you could. Um, it's about a new beginning, whether you schedule it or not. It's about new starts. It's zero in the major arcana. So it's rather powerful. Um, if you're insistent on it, it can be taken. I think someone here is planning for an amazing new beginning if it hasn't already started, okay? It could involve creativity. It could involve business. It could involve making more money, okay? And it's not bad to also think about the material attributes and goals that you have. There's also Divine Feminine in this reading who's really, really strong in her thought. She can sense masculine energy around her, okay? But she also has like sun and star feelings. This is really astrological for me as a reader. Somebody very in tune, they're in touch. They're also reaching the tip toppy of their happiness. They're getting there, okay? Let's look at that sun card. Sun and the fool. A lot of majors, the star, the sun, the fool and that's it everything is minor we have a couple characters here what's that seven of wands that's here what's that guarded or protective nature page of pentacles you're reinvesting back into yourself even if it's small increments day by day that's that healing effort the relationship of the protection and the guarding is so that you can have this new investment and it's prosperous because i feel like you're using your gifts this is psychic ability again Queen of Cups. That's the link. Okay. Let's check out this sun card. How is that being fulfilled in this time with tarot? Thank you. How is that being fulfilled at this time? All right. Knight of Cups. Somebody coming to your aid. Somebody who loves you too. This Knight of Cups, if they haven't shown up in the 3D, their feelings are here. It's been here the past couple days. If you don't have anyone like this, that's okay because they might not be letting you know that they're around. We do have a page of swords and it's in the universal readings too for Libra. Page of swords too, they observe to seek, they seek to observe. So this is what they're looking at, it's love. This is a romance card, it also speaks of inspiring things. Um, they could want a lasting relationship with you. I wanna look at that too. Five of swords, we have a recent pain from the past, okay? An argument is what I'm getting. A definite argument. What is the Five of Swords? We have a Knight of Swords here too. I did not forget it. It was right here off to my right hand side. Knight of Swords. This is the same person. Five of Swords and Knight of Swords. What's the relationship now to Libra? Ace of Wands. Somebody wanting to start over. It's a new beginning card. They want to start over because they feel like they're part of the Swords energy. They're part of the cause of it. And also, you did your shadow work. Star card is working through shadow work. This person does want to speak to you. Three of cups. <laughs> I didn't even see it and it was here. Three of cups. It's a physical interaction. Does Libra want the three of cups? Does Libra want the three of cups? Please and thank you. One card. You have the king of wands and it was sideways. Truly was. Some of some part of you does, and some of you are perseverant also, okay? And this might be a new person, the Three of Cups. 
Some of you are perseverant to not go back in the past. Okay, you're very staunch on that. So in the comments, don't say I'm going on to a new beginning because I see it. King of Wands is wanting the new beginning. You're very perseverant because you want new Three of Cups people too. This is about new relationships as well as collaborations. And they're coming. If you don't believe the conversations and the people and the good attributes of that, they are coming. Okay? Three of Cups could also be like workmates. Uh, they could be good people that motivate you, inspire you, also push you to be a better person. All of us are hard at work doing that. Each and every day we try to ascend to a higher plane in the 3D and 5D. Okay, so we can we can best work on that because your card is showing up. New beginning, new beginning, also the Ace of Wands. Someone might alternatively want this with you, but we have to, we'll see this in a future reading. They're just coming in as a Knight of Cups so far, okay? Uh, let's look at your major outcome here. You have a lot of majors, Libra, from the sun, death, star, the fool. There's a major shift going on here. Possibly somebody's clarified ascension too, like a bigger ascension than ever. Last three cards. You could feel ascension symptoms too, and you can look it up too. It's also um, on every search engine. You can find out ascension symptoms in the physical, okay? And we do have the lovers. Possible outcome is Gemini, also a major arcana. Um, a little bit more here. I gotta have some more meat sauce and excuse the plain sound. I live in an aerospace community. <laughs> temperance, Sagittarius. Got temperance card here. Patience, balance, to be modest. It's modesty. You're wanting someone who's equal to you. That's what I see. I don't know if you have alternative feelings from this reading because you can see everything but it's patience and modesty and equality. Someone's going to match you, okay? And if you don't believe it, it's showing up here as a very spiritual angel. This angel is, for me, it's Archangel Michael and most of the readings, very powerful energy. Also, when you pray, I feel like this gets into step quite fast. It's a very rapid energy, uh, especially if you have certain things that you have on your mind at the time, okay? Uh, relationship and fruitful things. Can we see abundance coming in, please, for the first reading out today? Thank you. You only got you only got one. <laughs> Six of Cups. Okay. There's a nostalgic feeling that might have come through. I'm getting someone's dreams for some reason. You get dream inferences or you get dream interpretations from the Six of Cups. The balance could be that your nostalgia and maybe even the sensitive part of you is actually the rich part of you, Libras. That's the message is the Six of Cups is not a weakness, okay? It could be something nostalgic that tends from your childhood, music, inspirations, art. It could be something here too that you've missed because I see that the Three of Cups wants to push through for you. This relationship area card or this gatherings card or this happy time, food and drinks, Family also is the Three of Cups for me and friends. It wants to push through, but there needs to be a huge surrender of thought and also surrendering to the ideals that this new chapter is not a scary one as well. We've seen you in Empress. We've seen you in the Queen of Pentacles. And so all it needs now is modesty. I also think prayer is coming in through the angel and equality is showing up in a relationship because we do have the lover's card. It's inarguable, all right? Um, I'm going to send this first one out, but I'm going to cut the deck for you. I have the Oracle deck here that we've been using the last couple of days for Libra sign, please. Also Libra rising. Can I get Libra Venus as well too? Can we get some advice, please? Can we get some beautiful advice? Thank you. One's popping out here, stronger than the rest. Let's get it. Fire horse, effortless vitality. That's that surrender. Okay, being free. Um, also, I get independence from this card. And I also see that you're setting yourself free from something. We got 43 there at the top of the logo of this card. I hope this helped you. I hope it brought some form of healing or even just a variance of a new idea for you. Okay, that helps in your situation. This concludes the first video. I'll see you guys for couples in the next one.